Welcome to Cycling Plus Bike of the Year 2016. We're looking at bikes in the £1,500 to £2,000 price category. That's up to around $2,800 US dollars. I've got senior technical editor Warren Rossiter with me. He's the guy that led the test team that also included Robin Wilmot and Matthew Allen. Sadly, they can't join us today. Top three in this category, we've got the Cannondale K12 Disc Ultegra, BMC's SLR02, and last but not least, Cervelo's R2. So let's start off, we're going alphabetical order, let's start with the BMC. Yeah, well, the SLR02, um, just a phenomenal riding bike. The frame set is just so good, it's so positive, it's so direct. We talk about bikes being responsive, this one feels almost telepathic and you stomp on the pedals. What do you mean by that? How, how can a bike be telepathic? Sometimes if you get on a bike and you start to pedal, especially when you get out of the saddle and start to sprint, you know, you'll get some bikes will get this feeling of a little bit of inertia, a little bit of like the frame kind of settling before you go, you know, before it starts pushing you forward. On the SLR, you get on it and you stamp on those pedals and it's immediately you're pushing forward. And then, you know, if you're really on it and you're really spinning hard, it's almost like the bike pulses. It's just its willingness to go fast. Is it a racy bike? Yeah, yeah. It's but is that, a, is that a good thing? Some people might be a bit put off by the idea of a racy well, bike, but what do we mean by that? It's, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a race bike in, in the sort of classic sense, in the way it's um, in its geometry and all that sort of thing. But, but it's, it's like one of the latest generations of, of kind of pro-level bikes where they haven't ignored you know, the all-important comfort. Um, and, and this bike's smooth. It mixes the smoothness with the, the rapid stiffness. And, you know, BMC have got everything right. Probably the only thing they haven't got right, which divides people's opinion, is the weird electric blue colour scheme. But I like that. There you go. So, uh, staying with alphabets, Cannondale, CAD 12. This one's got discs. Cannondale have done some really, really clever, interesting things with the aluminium disc frame set. You know, the way that they've integrated the flat mount onto the rear chainstay is just a work of art. It's CNC cut out into the actual chainstay, and then there's an interlocking piece that just slots in there. And then once they've got that weld over it, you look at it, it looks like it's molded. It's really fine bits of attention to detail. Does it have like practical that. use, though? Is it, is it strong? Uh, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's, in, it's inherently stronger, but it also saves a, uh, you know, a huge amount of weight um, over you know, traditional sticking them out on top and welding all the way around, you know, because they've actually keyed it into that, into that state. They've done a lot of, lot of clever work on this bike. And the aluminium frame? The aluminium frame here is, is impressively light for a disc bike. And that's up against carbon, that's up against, you know, against anything. It's a really, really well accomplished, superb machine, really. But it is the only disc bike in, in this top three, so because the Cervelo, that's, uh, that's got rim brakes as well. I wouldn't say the jury's still out on disc brakes. You know, disc brakes are coming, they're coming quickly. They, they will, you know, one day be all consuming, but if people keep, still keep making great, great rim brake bikes, we'll keep shouting about them. And the R2 is a case in point. You have to think that under the skin of, the, of that R2 paint job, what you've actually got is the R3 frame and the R3 frame has won Pro Tour. It's a top class frame. The only difference between the R2 and the R3 is they change the fork. You know, the R3 gets a slightly lighter fork, but it, you know, that's a moot point. We'd much rather save the cash, have the you know, one number less, but safer than the knowledge that we've got. What you've got here is a pro level bike for under 2,000 pounds. And a pro level bike, you know, pros don't necessarily go for comfort. They want strength, they want stiffness, they want speed. How does the R2 stack up uh, as, a, as a, a ride for the, let's say, the slightly less professional amongst us? It's surprisingly, Cervelo's geometry has always um, tended to favour the less pro, as it were. Their head tube design has always been a slight, little bit taller than most of the other pro level bikes. If you look at lots of the pros that rode Cervelo, they tend to ride a size smaller and go for a longer stem with a negative. So if you buy the right size bike for, the, for you, just as a normal rider, the fit tends to be really good. Cervelo pioneered the pencil thin seat stay. So their, their bikes are really nicely balanced comfort and lightweight. So that's our top three. They're all brilliant. One of them's more brilliant than the other. And if you want to find out which one that is, make sure you watch our big reveal winners video, which is coming soon.